Good morning, my name is James Hughes, Chief Market Analyst here at Scope Markets, and this is your daily briefing on Friday, the 26th of June. US market swung from negative to positive in its session on Thursday, and that was after banking stocks surged. The initial negativity came on the back of the fact that COVID-19 second wave fears were continuing to spread across the United States, with 27 new states now reporting more cases than the week before, with seven states now reporting record infections and death rates. However, after the closing bell on Thursday, the banking stress test results from the Federal Reserve came out showing that some banks could get close to minimum capital levels in some of the pandemic scenarios, which took futures lower after the close. And that lower futures prices is now being reflected for the open on Friday. We also saw weaker than expected initial jobless claims on Thursday with 1.4 million more Americans now claiming unemployment benefit within the last seven days. The numbers had got a lot better. However, these recent figures have shown that the number continues to get slightly worse. For Friday, we are expecting Christine Lagarde to speak uh, from the ECB about economic stimulus and the state of the Eurozone economy, while we look towards some data in the afternoon from the US as the core PCE data is released. Core PCE is a measure of inflation and is expected to come in at 0.9%. In other news, we are seeing many Wall Street executives now look at Joe Biden as a serious contender for the White House. Joe Biden is ahead in many states now in nationwide polls and the key swing states, which points to the fact that Joe Biden now has a very good chance of winning the election in November. However, November is a long way away. Many Wall Street executives are bracing themselves for a Joe Biden win, which could well be negative for the economy, as under Donald Trump, stock markets have been booming.